Hey guys, I'm Bendy back with another video. In today's video, I will show you guys how to make a Roblox GFX. Um, this is a very, very simple. It does require some downloads, but promise me it will be worth it. First thing you want to do is you want to go into the description and you want to click on the first link called the load character L-I-T-E and it will bring you to this page. Now what you want to do is you want to press install. And then once you press install, it should say that you have the item owned. And now what you want to do is you want to go to uh, the second link in the description, which will be the legacy animation editor. And once you have pasted the link, there should be a download that instantly comes to your downloads folder. So now what you want to do to get to your downloads folder, you want to go over to your desktop. And once you're on your desktop, you want to go over to, to this PC and you want to open that up and now what you want to do is you want to come over to downloads and you want to click on animation editor and then you want to open up Roblox Studio now if you don't have Roblox Studio it will be the third link in the description but I think everybody should have Roblox Studio if you have Roblox because it comes with Roblox so really quickly, open it up. And once it is open, you want to go to new and you want to click on base plate. And now what you want to do is you want to go to plugins and you want to go to plugins folder. And now you want to go over to your downloads folder and you want to drag the legacy animation editor into your um, plugins folder. Now, I already have it in here, so I will not need it right now. Um, but, but after you do that, you should uh, close out of Roblox Studio and reopen it. Um, I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I already have it here, so there's no point in me doing that. But you should do it just in case. And now, as you can see, we have the load characters LIT in the plugins, meaning we can, um, meaning we can input our character by just coming over here and then typing our username. My username, of course, it's BendyMendyYT. So I'm going to spawn R15. I'm going to drag it so my feet are touching the floor. And now, as you can see, my character it looks normal. But one thing I don't like about my character right now is that it is very skinny. And if you think your character is a little too fat, a little too tall, or a little too skinny, you can just come over here. And you want to explore. And then you want to come back here. You want to click on your arrow. And now you want to do is you want to click on the arrow next to your name. Then you want to click on the arrow next to humanoid. And then you want to click on body depth scale. Hold shift and then click on head scale. Then you want to right click on all of this and you want to press delete and as you can see my character is perfect size now um no like different there's no scaling no nothing so it is perfect size so now what you want to do is you want to come over to plugins again plugins is the most important tab for making a gfx so you want to click on animation editor you should already have the animation editor set up but now what you want to do is you want to click on the torso of your character and press select as you can see, I can click on any part of my body and the rotation circle thing will pop up, meaning I can just like, move, like rotate my character and all that stuff. So if I want my arm to um, be in a waving position, I can just make it go up. And as you can see, now it is on a waving position. So it looks like I'm waving to somebody. But now just do whatever you want with your character. You can uh, make it run and you can make it into a running position, like um, doing this and that. Uh, this obviously isn't a running position, but um, this is how you use the animation editor. So you can do almost anything with it. So that's what I like. You can even tilt the second part of your leg and the second part of your arms, making it look a lot like a GFX. And then when you're done, you want to right click on your name in the Explorer and you want to click um, Export Selection. 
and then you want to click on desktop and then you want to name your file whatever you want i'm going to name it bendy likes to wave and then i'm going to save it as obj because obj is like the only um i think this is the only file type you can actually save it as so just press save and then close out of roblox studio and now what you want to do is you want to open another tab and then you want to go to the fifth link now you want to open the fourth link in the description and it will bring you to blender and a download should start for blender and all you have to do is wait for the download to finish and then eventually you want to uh, do the installation process and i'm going to do this off camera because um i don't really want to do this on camera because that'll just waste time so uh, i'll see you guys when i have blender downloaded all right once you have blender downloaded it should be on your desktop now i have blurred out my desktop because i don't i want you guys to see what i have on my desktop because it is private information but now i'm going to open up blender and then once i open up blender it should look something like this and now you want to click somewhere around the screen to get rid of this thing on the screen because you don't want to use this just click over here and then what you want to do is you want to right click on this cube and press delete and now what you want to do to get your character into blender you want to come over here to file import wavefront obj which is what you saved it for and then you want to go to desktop and then you want to go to bendy likes to wave or whatever you named it import obj and then to see where it is you want to press shift and this key which i don't know what it's called but i will show up on the screen but now you want to look around for your character now to move is basically like how you would move in roblox wasd now as you can see i am walking very very slow to go faster just hold the shift and you are going twice or maybe four times as fast and as you can see there is my character now my character is very very grayish and has no color so now i'm going to come up to the top right and click on this circle right here the fourth one and it should bring all my textures and my accessories now what we do is you want to go to the very top right and you want to click on the light and then you want to go to the left of your screen and click this move button and now you want to move the light to your character now this moving thing is basically the exact same as how you would do it in a roblox which is very convenient and i really like that so i'm gonna move it over to my roblox character as you can see it is now lighting up my roblox character if you think it's a little too bright of course you can just move it away from your character i'm bringing it up a little bit to the middle and then i'm going to drag it backwards because a little too um a little too close uh, this should be a perfect amount of spacing. If I bring it up, the light will shine more onto the top of my hat. So I'm going to leave it like this. This is a perfect amount of lighting. And now, if you want to put more lights around your body, if you think some places are too like dark or has too many shadows, just copy the light and then paste it. As you can see, now we have a light point 001. You can do this as many times as you want, but I'm going to only going to do this two times. So as you can see, my character is now fully lighted. There is some shade over here, but that's fine with me. Um, if you want, you can fix that by putting another light. So now, when you think you're done, you want to come over to this microwave kind of looking symbol. I don't know what it is, but you want to click on here. It's called the render properties, and you want to come down here to film. And then click on transparent now what you want to do is you want to come over to view cameras active camera then again press shift in that random key i don't know what it's called and then move over to your character and fit your character right into the box like so and when you're done with that you want to come over to render render image and then you want to come over to image save as desktop i'm gonna save it as untitled.png because honestly i don't care what it's called save as image and it should be saved to your desktop so really quickly i'm going to see what it looks like
and as you can see you have your GFX and there is no background if you made it transparent um, really you shouldn't have a background if you want a background you could use like Photoshop or something to put a background but honestly you don't want a background when you're rendering your GFX because it will mess it up completely but yeah you have your GFX so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it has helped you in any way like this video um, subscribe if you are new join my discord server in the description and also join my Roblox group in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video See you guys in the next video, please. I'm just a kid who's born each day. I go some more. I like exploring. I'm kind.